Welcome back to Let's Stud. Looks simple, or maybe not, can you solve this? Before starting, please subscribe to the Let's Stud channel for more exciting videos. Let's divide 426 by 3. We look at the first digit, 4. How many times does 3 fit into 4? It fits 1 time. 1 times 3 is 3. 4 minus 3 leaves a remainder of 1. You're doing awesome. Now let's bring down the next digit. Now we have 12. How many times does 3 fit into 12? It fits 4 times. We have the digit 2 from 426. 3 fits into 12 exactly 4 times. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 minus 12 leaves no remainder. Keep up the fantastic work. Let's move to the last digit. We have 6 left. How many times does 3 fit into 6? It fits 2 times. We have the digit 6 from 426. 3 fits into 6 exactly 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 6 leaves no remainder. You're a math superstar. We've reached the end of this problem. Great job, you've mastered this division problem. Ready for another exciting division adventure. Let's tackle 396 divided by 11. We start with the first digit, 3. How many times does 11 fit into 3? It fits 0 times. 0 times 11 is 0. 3 minus 0 leaves a remainder of 3. You're doing great, keep going. Let's bring down the next digit to make a new number. Now we have 39. How many times does 11 fit into 39? It fits 3 times. We brought down the 9, making it 39. 11 fits into 39 3 times. 3 times 11 is 33. 39 minus 33 leaves a remainder of 6. You're on a roll. Time to bring down the last digit. We have 66. How many times does 11 fit into 66? It fits 6 times. We brought down the 6, making it 66. 11 fits into 66 exactly 6 times. 6 times 11 is 66. 66 minus 66 leaves no remainder. We're done. Amazing work, you solved it. Let's try another one. While you crush that one, so proud of you. Ready for our next math challenge. Let's divide 444 by 12. We start with the first digit, 4. How many times does 12 fit into 4? 0 times. 0 times 12 is 0. 4 minus 0 leaves a remainder of 4. You're doing wonderfully. Let's bring down the next digit. Now we have 44. How many times does 12 fit into 44? It fits 3 times. We brought down the 4, making it 44. 12 fits into 44 3 times. 3 times 12 is 36. 44 minus 36 leaves a remainder of 8. Keep up the amazing effort. Let's get the last digit. We have 84. How many times does 12 fit into 84? It fits 7 times. We brought down the last 4, making it 84. 12 fits into 84 exactly 7 times. 7 times 12 is 84. 84 minus 84 leaves no remainder. We're done. You're a math whiz. One more problem to go. Fantastic job. You're becoming a division expert. Ready for our final division challenge. Let's divide 624 by 24. We start with the first digit, 6. How many times does 24 fit into 6? 0 times. 0 times 24 is 0. 6 minus 0 leaves a remainder of 6. You're doing great. Let's bring down the next digit. Now we have 62. How many times does 24 fit into 62? It fits 2 times. We brought down the 2, making it 62. 
24 fits into 62 2 times. 2 times 24 is 48. 62 minus 48 leaves a remainder of 14. You're doing super. Let's bring down the last digit. We have 144. How many times does 24 fit into 144? It fits six times. We brought down the four, making it 144. 24 fits into 144 six times. Six times 24 is 144. 144 minus 144 leaves no remainder. We're all done. You're a math champion. That's all for today. Incredible work. You've conquered all these division problems. You've done an amazing job. See you next time. Let's divide 336 by 28. We start with the first digit, 3. How many times does 28 fit into 3? 0 times. 0 times 28 is 0. 3 minus 0 leaves a remainder of 3. You're doing awesome. Let's bring down the next digit to make a new number. Now we have 33. How many times does 28 fit into 33? It fits one time. We brought down the 3, making it 33. 28 fits into 33 one time. 1 times 28 is 28. 33 minus 28 leaves a remainder of 5. Keep up the great work. Let's bring down the last digit. We have 56. How many times does 28 fit into 56? It fits two times. We brought down the 6, making it 56. 28 fits into 56 exactly two times. 2 times 28 is 56. 56 minus 56 leaves no remainder. We've finished. You're a math superstar. That concludes all our problems for today. You've successfully completed all the division problems. High five. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Let's Stud for more awesome content. See you in the next one.